I'm Susan Hero of PRSecrets.com, and we're here at Bay Marin Aikido and Katani Aikido with Ginny Breland, Fifth Don, Aikido advice for women and a few men. And today, Ginny is going to demonstrate diamond, willow, and water. So, hi. Um, diamond, willow, and water um, is analogous to Katai Keiko, Yawada Kai Keiko, and Nagata Keiko, um, which are different movement forms introducing um, flowing styles from a static style. Um, a lot of times people think that the Iwama style is only static, but it's not. It begins static, and the first thing you should do in a static situation is to take your uke center. So we start out, Katai Keiko, if he grabs here, is to take his center of balance, and we do so by moving off to the side. So this is Katai Keiko, because when he holds, He's holding still, and I decide when the first movement happens. So right here. So this is Ikkyo Kitai Keiko. And after Kitai Keiko, we have Yawatakai Keiko. So Kitai is a grab here, but now I'm going to hold my hand back, and the second that he grabs, and I offer my hand when he grabs, I move. So Yawada Kai Keiko slowly introduces a little bit of movement. In Kitai Keiko, I decide when I move. In, in Yawada Kai Keiko, I offer my hand, and then when he grabs, he's the one who's deciding when my motion happens. In um, Nagata Keiko, he takes a step back, and we introduce a little bit more movement, and then we bring him around and still have the Ikkyo form. Okay, on this side takes a step back, I offer, I turn him around, come off to the side, and still have the Ikkyo form. Thank you. So this is Katai Keiko, Yawada Kai Keiko, Nagari Keiko, or Diamond, Willow, and Water. So movement is introduced incrementally. And a lot of the times people think, tend to think that um, Iwama style is just a static form. But there's a lot of movement in, um, in Iwama style. And um, this style is the only style that really covers static as well as flowing forms. We build up to the Nagari Keiko, and actually after that, we, we have Kino Nagari Keiko, which introduces air. A little different energy um, treatment, but a lot more movement involved in that. So the idea is that um, a long time ago, back in um, the, 1979, a book was discovered by Stanley Prennan of Aikido Journal that um, illustrated things that Osensei had put down in book form, in workbook form, in a book called Budo. And it shows the static techniques that are, are classic to Iwama style. And it wasn't until this book was discovered that there suddenly was this incredible acknowledgement to the techniques that Saito Sensei was doing. Because, you know, when um, O Sensei traveled elsewhere other than Iwama, his form looked so much different. And so this kind of, this definitely verified the Iwama style, the Iwama form, the static progression to movement. And um, it was just an amazing um, thing to, to have happen in the Aikido world. So Iwama style is uh, one of the few, the only style actually that covers static form, introducing movement incrementally, all the way to this movement which is kino nagari form, which is flowing movement. And there was a lot, there is a lot of flowing in Iwama style. So, um, like with any way of helping yourself learn, incremental learning really is the pattern for your brain to follow. It helps um, us understand movement initially, statically, and then slowly, gradually progress to a flowing form. Diamond, willow, water, air. Thank you, Sensei.